New video shows miles, really hundreds of miles of snow in California. It's historic. The video comes from the Airborne Snow Observatory. You need planes to see just how much snow there is and measure it with lasers. And the snow will likely cause historical flooding later this summer when it all melts, which makes all the sense till you remember California's historic drought and the hysteria surrounding it. It turns out nobody planned ahead for the rainy day. So when the snow melts and turns into raging rivers, all of that water, at least most of it, will be wasted. With us now, Thomas Painter, chief executive officer and founder of Airborne Snow Observatories that took all that beautiful video we just saw. Mr. Painter, appreciate you being with us, sir. How much snow, if this all melts, how much water are we really talking about? Well, so the the, the numbers I like to give right now um, start out with an average year in the Sierra Nevada has about 18 and a half cubic kilometers of water. This year, we have about 49 cubic kilometers of water. And that's pretty hard to uh, to squeeze through your mind to really understand. But um, for football fans, uh, that would fill the Rose Bowl 87,000 times um, or about a billion billion cans of soda. A billion, so we, billion cans of soda. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of soda. I think we've yeah. heard about the droughts in California and in all of the coverage that's existed about it. We've obviously seen the pictures of Lake Mead, Lake Powell, the dry California reservoirs and the like. If there had been real planning ahead over the past couple of decades to figure out how to move water and save water, uh, planning for literally the rainy day when all the water comes, could all of this water you're talking about be harnessed and end the droughts that we've been in? We're in a great place right now um, compared to what we were expecting coming out of the drought last year. Last year, we had the majority of our snowfall uh, at, in late December peaking around January 1st, uh, which is several months early. And so this year, we didn't really think we were going to have such a monstrous year, um, but it just kept coming and coming and coming. So many of the farmers and other folks that we talked to seemed to think that there was a real lack of planning for this miracle, if you want to call it that, that has been given. And, and now that you all are documenting here, for example, uh, is uh, the head of the Turlar County Farm Bureau back in April when we heard about the massive flooding that was coming. Take a listen. This is really about California state legislature and the state government failing to plan for our most vulnerable farm and rural communities in California. While we have episodes of drought that are very cyclical and predictable for years on end, we also knew that our flood control measures and our reservoirs were 40 to 50 plus years old. They could not handle this type of amazing rainfall and snow melt. Fair criticism. Well, certainly infrastructure has been an issue, um, not only in California, but in the, the rest of the country. Um, for our part, the, the development of the remote sensing technologies for the snowpack are a critical component of developing that infrastructure and being able to, as, as she indicated, the droughts and, and large years are um, predictable to a degree that they are going to happen, but exactly how much water there's going to be is not necessarily predictable even within the year. So being able to have that component of the water infrastructure is absolutely important. And that derives from the science and technology developments. Yeah, it's, it's wild what you guys have been able uh, to document flying over the Sierras. And the, the pictures that you guys have, have come up with are just stunning, beautiful. Uh, and we hope it's put to good use. Uh, I'd be ashamed to waste it all, I guess, as they would say. Mr. Painter, it's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.